Greetings, flesh creatures. It is I, Megatron. On behalf of TFYLP, I want to congratulate you for listening to the most refined collector podcast on this miserable little planet Earth. Yes. Here you'll find knowledgeable fans discussing every aspect of Transformers and beyond. Now, enjoy the show while I continue my path to complete conquest of all of you miserable biological entities. Predacons! Terrorize! Welcome to a quarantined edition of Cut the Tape. So while this whole quarantine's going on, I still haven't cut my hair. So it's starting to grow back. I haven't shaved at all. My uh, alter ego, Dr. Otto von Wolfgang, MD, made the front page of the paper. Not that trivial stuff like that matters anymore. You know, last week we did something unusual. We did a whole big Lego set. We did Apocalypseburg, and I did it with uh, my kids, um, Casey and the other one. So I just thought, hey, you know, let's take another break from Transformers. We'll get back to Transformers next week. Maybe the doctor will show up. I've had something sitting down here for a while. So uh, apparently this virus can can live on cardboard for uh, a day or so. So I've been letting all my boxes pile up. So I finally said, you know what? Let's be daring. Last one in is a rusty herring. And I thought I'd open up something I got from uh, Hasbro Pulse. This is how it came. It did not come in a Hasbro Pulse box. Now, while everyone is opening their Seacons, I am not going to open my Seacons. I am going to open something else. There's, I collect a, an assortment of different brands. I, I'm, of course, I love Transformers, but I have other passions. I'm a very complex individual. I adore Masters of the Universe, Aliens, Predator, Gobots, Centurions, Exo Squad, Legos, of course, uh, Sectars, Mask, Visionaries, Silverhawks, Thundercats, Ho, uh, Star Wars. I'm very particular with Star Wars. Usually I just collect the vehicles of Star Wars, I, I like vehicles. Uh, but there's something else I, I enjoy collecting, something I actually got to work on while I was at Hasbro, and that was G.I. Joe. Now, interesting story. My first day at Hasbro, we were talking about G.I. Joe. <clears throat> and uh, someone had said, hey, six-inch figures, we showed them at Toys R Us, uh, but they've disappeared. Some, somebody stole the prototypes, unfortunately. And all these years later, so that was what? 2009 all these years later and boom we finally have our first six inch gi joe figures i know uh there is a uh, sigma six but we're talking six inch marvel style uh star wars black series style so that that's that's what we're talking about today so uh this is my first time handling it uh gi joe classified series it's pretty pretty big box it's got a lot of weight to it comes in a slip case what's nice about the slip case there's no tape on it now this is a very nice embossed box so it kind of looks like on the it's going to be really hard for you guys to see this i know i'm sorry but i'm embossed in the back here it it's a dragon it's a japanese dragon but it's got the slightest hint of a wolf in it, like timber, from, uh, you know, Snake Eyes' loyal companion. If I had known this was going to be on here, I would have done some uh, research to find out what that means. I wouldn't be surprised if it means something like knowing it's half the battle or something like that or... Thanks for giving us your money. 
But you see the Arashikage symbol is not very prominent. Um, this is a great box. This is a great box. I would have loved if this had been red, but um, this, this is a great box. This is a beautiful box. There's no tape on it, but it's... Let's see if we can... Let's see if we can just kind of slide the top off here. It's, it's a tight fit. I like that. All right, this is my first time. Oh, excellent. Now, I have not seen any reviews on this. I've purposely avoided reviews on this. Look at this. Look at this. This is a, a clear version of what's em embossed on the box. It, the paper quality, now paper quality, paper stock is very important to me. This is, this is, you can tell they took inspiration by old parchment something that this may have been written on. It's not quite rice paper, but it's, it's, uh, it's like a heavier rice paper that you can print on. It's, this is really cool. So you can see the full image here. So what's not visible because the image is cropped on the box is the Arashikage symbol up here. You see the, the snake or the, the dragon does kind of have a little bit of timber inspiration in it as well, right? It's got the mask here but this, this jaw, which is part of the mask, also doubles as the wolf, which as a whole makes a dragon. This is a really nice piece of art. That is a really nice piece of art. Here we go. Here is Snake Eyes. So, we've got all these weapons here. We've got his, uh, his background stand. Let's see if we can just slide this out if there's anything underneath nope so what's underneath is just cardboard to prop it up to make this the same volume as this so that's not rattling around in the, in the box let's just take this out real quick oh look at that see now that is cool i'm i'm really happy with this so far so of course you have timber right I wonder, now looking at this, ideally these tell a story, but what is the story in relations to Snake Eyes character or the Arashikagi mythology? I'm curious. There are two characters on here. Maybe it's knowledge being passed from one, and thus the circle, to the other, which does not have a circle around it. Maybe it's supposed to be indicative of Snake Eyes and Storm Shadow, as they are the yin and yang, two sides of a coin. On the back is a rack for your weapons. Now, there is some kanji on the back here. It is the same as on the left as it is. Um, so all the symbols on the right side are the same, and all the symbols on the left side are the same. I don't know what those symbols mean. <clears throat> Interesting. This is a pretty solid piece. This is pretty solid. I'm just going to take one weapon out to see how well. Oh, oh. Now I thought with any shaking, this thing would come off. But that's on there pretty good. Yeah. That is, that is a good job. Very good job. I'm happy with that. Man. This, this is coming out, this is, this is coming out way better than I thought it, it was going to be. I'm really happy with this. It took a long time to get here, but as Joe fans, we are here now. Let's embrace this. All right. So here is, uh, you know, no paperwork on the back. I think it would have been cool if there was like a, like a number of these, like uh, one of, you know, 10,000, two of 10,000, three of, and so on. So on the back, you have uh, a really cool image of G.I. Joe and Cobra. You have all your uh, classic characters on here. 
and you've got more obscure characters like a like an alley viper which is you know that came much later in the line interesting choice of why certain characters are on here you've got a lot of older stuff like rattlers his tanks um the mobat the wolverine uh but then you've got like this out of place like alley viper which didn't come out till like much much later it, it looks like it's really relying on like the first couple years of characters but the alley viper is a cool cool character all right uh, so, it is taped top and bottom. It says number zero. So I assume the other ones will be like zero, one, zero, two, and so forth. Kind of like Star Wars Black Series. It has the Arashikage symbol. The Arashikage symbol is actually uh, two halves of the Korean flag, which Larry Hama is Korean, and he put them together to form this symbol. So if you look at the Korean flag, it's broken up. Uh, the corners have a piece of this. Put them together, it forms the Arashikage symbol. So, uh, let's take a look at the figure. It is uh, both ninja and commando. It's, it's a mix. It's not like straight up ninja snake eyes. It's not straight up commando snake eyes. So in that regard, I think, I think it's a little bit of a miss in that regard. Just because I would have preferred a straight up commando snake eyes and a straight up ninja snake eyes. Commando with the goggles, of course. Uh, maybe even a pair of hands that aren't gloved. And uh, the ninja version with, of course, the awesome iconic uh, shield. So this is a nice box. It is a really nice box. Really nice. Silver on it. It's great. You know what this is missing? Well, besides a bio on the back, maybe there'll be something on the inside. Again, I, I can't stress how important bios are on packaging. I mean, this is a special item. You're not going to find this in a store. So if you're buying this, you obviously know who the character is. So, okay. You know, they get a pass on that. This is not a, this is not a you know, straight to retail thing. My bad. You see Timber here on the side. It's got uh, an extra set of hands in there. It's got a... Uh, Two guns, a silencer, a backpack, a sword. All right, let's let's uh, let's open this guy up. Let's see what's inside. Now, because I want to keep this box nice, I'm not just going to stick my finger in here and open it. That's going to create a crease on the box. I'm going to take the sharp part, point it away towards where I want to go so that I don't accidentally cut the box, and I'm gonna move that flap open. I know I've shown this a million times before, but that's just how it's, just how it's done. All right, let's take the whole thing out. So, the back, the insert, No, no bio, nothing. That's what this is missing. So, G.I. Joe, a real American hero. Where does it say real American hero? Where is the flag? Brand DNA. Transformers, more than meets the eyes. Robots in the skies. Should be on everything. Then again, I think the rub sign should be on everything. That's what it's missing. It's missing the flag. All right, so we got our guy here. Doesn't appear to be any twist ties on him. I, you know what? I'm not trying to, to crap on this figure. This is, this is nice. Each designer has their own take. I just, you know, I, I like my ninjas and my commandos separate. And this is, this is a combination. This is a good combination of both. This is a this is a good first start. I'm sure there's going to be a million versions of Snake Eyes in this line if it continues. So I'm not e not even worried about it. All right, articulation's really good. You know, very uh, Marvel 
inspired. I haven't opened any of the new Power Rangers from Hasbro, so I'm wondering if they have the same articulation. I would love to see, Hasbro is doing, uh, oh, what is it? The, the inside pin, the invisible pin, pin particle, whatever they're, they're calling it, where all the pins are on the inside. See, like all those pins, like they're seamless. You put the pin on the inside and then you glue the two pieces together. Um, I'm sure customizers are gonna hate that. But uh, for someone who doesn't customize their figures, Uh, Snake Eyes doesn't have a whole lot of deco. Uh, he has it where it counts, though. That's just the nature of the character. So, uh, the reason Snake Eyes is all black was because they ran out of money, or they just didn't have enough time to do the deco. Uh, there's so many different stories about it that, uh, he came out all black. And stuff like that, just, like... Guy's dressed in all black. He's really cool. All right. He's got a sheath here. Let's put the knife in. Fits perfectly. I'm so annoyed when you put a knife in and it like sticks out like that. It's hard to see, but look at that. Fits perfectly. Boom. Let me see him put it in his hand. One of the things I love about jujitsu, my, my sensei teaches knife fighting. I'm not saying I'm master at knife fighting. I'm just saying I've trained and I wouldn't want to fight my sensei, 53 years old. I'm 40, I know I look like I'm 53. I'm 40, my sensei's 53. I would not want to fight him with a knife. Nice, very nice. Get that backpack on him. I want to see how well this backpack holds. So there's two holds here, one in the belt and then one in the actual, in like the harness, which is attached to the torso. So you can't put it through the belt. It's on there pretty good. That is on there pretty good. All right. It's got a hole inside you can put an attachment to. That's, oh, that's not tape. All right, I see. I see what's going on. And the sword fits perfectly. The sword fits perfectly. I'm so annoyed when you put a sword in a toy and it sticks out like that, or it sticks out like that. Look at that, perfect. Perfect. Now we can put the sword here if we want. It's a weird way to carry a sword. And we'll just put it there. Oh, that, so this is cool. So he's got a holster for his uh, firearm, and then it's got a holster for the silencer as well. You know what this needs is a little stand. Like a little... Yeah, that weapons rack uh, doesn't have a, a stand. You know, just something that says, you know, G.I. Joe, and, it, and he's standing on it. Like the three and three quarter inch figures have. This is the pistol. Here's the silencer. Fits great. It's nice and tight on there. Boom, great. Fits great. And the finger will fit through the trigger. Oh, easy peasy. Easy peasy. I love it. It's in there tight. That's not, that weapon's not coming out. All right, let's see how well it fits in here. Beautiful. Perfect fit. Silencer. Perfect fit. That silencer is not going anywhere. Holy crap, I am ecstatic. This came out, the quality on this is amazing. I bet you the silencer f would fit on the, uh, on this automatic weapon. So there might've been a quick cut there. Sorry, Lucas. Um, 
I'm filming this on my cell phone. I got a call. Sorry. All right. So we've got him armed up. I like that he has uh, a chopping hand. This is called shuto. Shuto in Japan. Shuto, which uh, I believe means knife edge, if I remember correctly. Let's see how well the hands come out. Comes out pretty easily. And what I like is that this is a long peg. Chances of breaking this, I bet you are slim. Oh, it goes in there nice. Nice. Beautiful. Now look what else he can do. Oh, <laughs> every G.I. Joe needs to come with this, with this hand. Every G.I. Joe, put it right there. Every G.I. Joe needs to come with that hand. Boom. Every single G.I. Joe needs to come with that hand. I would also like for every G.I. Joe to come with a closed fist so they can do Yo Joe and you can have the fist raised up. Wow. Wow. I feel really good about this figure. Man. Well done. Well done. I'm really happy with how this came out. Awesome. Now, because I don't have a place to put them. Well, well, it's a little tricky getting that hand back in there. That's where the break could happen. Mm -hmm. But because I don't have a place to put him right now. Snake eyes, buddy. You're going back in the box. It's nice meeting you. But uh, I'm sure we'll meet again in a few years when I get around to displaying my G.I. Joes. You know, this whole thing, I thought I was going to be able to... Uh, work on my basement and get some stuff done around here. I have had very little time to do that um, now that I'm uh, Mr. Cook for the whole house, cooking three meals a day for five people, snacks, and uh, trying to do schoolwork with the girls. Um, I have had very little time to myself. And by the time I do get time to myself, all I want to do is have a nice glass of wine or a whiskey and just sit in front of the TV. So it's uh, can be frustrating. Keep your chin up. Remember, people are counting on you. I'm counting on you. If you, uh, if you want to email me something disparaging or some words of positivity, email me at cutthetape at tftalk.net. I actually have no idea if that's the email or not. I think it is. Anyway, thank you very much. Peace and love. Be safe. Wash those hands and stay inside.